Hey gang, Melissa here, and today I have some garbage for you. Some trash, some empties. It's empties, and my husband is really ready to get rid of it and throw it in the trash. So I'm going to do this video for you, and of course give you my little opinions, whether they're snarky or positive, and tell you what I think about each and every single item that I'm going to show you. So who's excited? Mm -hmm, you excited, right? I am. Kind of. No? All right. I, I, I'm gonna start. Here I go. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. You've seen this a plethora of times. You're gonna continue to see it and it is the Studio 35. The Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I have used this for easily over a decade and did a whole entire, hey, best wrinkle cream in the whole entire universe video on it. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it. And uh, I, it, it's gone. It's done. You may see a little bit in there, but when it gets to that little itty bitty bitness of it, I don't even use it anymore because I'm like, I always put my fingers in there and although they're clean, very clean, um, I always get a little bit, I don't know, I get freaked out. I'm like, maybe that stuff right there is all the bacteria from all the times I've dipped in there and because you can only clean your fingers so much, right? And hands, I'm, I'm, I know I'm weird. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I think you should clean your hands, And but there's still bacteria if you do. I will add this in there. I am in the middle of using a beauty skincare routine from a company. It's Butopia, and it is a whole entire line that fits together, and I'm trying that out, and I'm going to review that for you. They sent it to me a few weeks ago. They want me to use it for 10 weeks and get back to you, so I am doing that. However, like I'm reaching, look, I'm, I'm on a camera, I'm reaching. But this is what I was using before, and I, it just, you can't go wrong with this, and I need to move on. I'm moving on. Look at that. I just threw it away, so you're not even going to see it anymore in this video. All right, this. This was featured, actually. It is from Alme. It is their oil-free gentle eye makeup remover pads. This was featured in my last crap product video. I'll link that below. I'll link it up here. And the reason why, and you may be saying, well, why did you use it all up? Uh, a, I had a coupon. B, it was pretty much free. And C, I hate to like throw anything away without using it up. So why does it suck? It sucks because it's supposed to be this gentle eye makeup remover. And I do not have sensitive eyes. I don't. However, when I use these, it burns the fool out of my eyes. And also, there's not even one left in here. It says pads. Again, I'll link the video below from the crap products. They are the skinniest, itty, they're like paper thin. The little pads they put in there are paper thin. When I hear pad, I think like, okay, it's going to be like a little bit thick and it's something you can work with, but they're so paper thin. I just hate it. I hate the way it feels. I hate the way uh, I don't like the product. And I, I, if I got it again free with a coupon, in the future, I'll probably donate it. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm like, hey, this sucks and I hate it, but maybe you will love it. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I hate it. All right, let's talk about some sunblock. So, Copper Tone. I, uh, I, I did a summer favorites video and sunblock and whatnot, but Copper Tone, this one. It is their, it's the new one that they have actually. I think okay, I have found the other Copper Tone. Oh, so Copper Tone this year, they released a new line called Clearly Sheer. It is, and this is part of that line. And this is a little spray. I got this for free from Buzz Agent. And that's, it's a website and a company that you take some surveys, let them know what you like and they will send you some products for free and what they want you to do in return is to either Facebook about it or tweet about it and I'm gonna move on so anyway this was part of it and I loved it I really did this is SPF 50 it's not it's not the copper tone smell that you know there was a few creams that they sent with it uh, a bottle of SPF cream versus the spray and those were great too and they worked beautifully um, so this is all gone and I it's good I will purchase this again for sure and I do also have this this is the copper tone sport this is not new it's not a new formula it's not a new bottle and this is, it's good. I will say that. It is really, really good. However, I, I prefer this formula better. I prefer the Clearly Sheer better. I think that it lasts a little bit longer. I think that it's, 
the odor is less offensive <laughs> you know we all we all prefer different things when we smell things and so maybe you would like this better than this I don't know that's just my personal experience but um, copper tone in general is a great brand I just really appreciate the fact that they are coming up with new formulas and different fragrances and uh, things that last a little bit longer so they're gone uh, for kids and amusement parks we have gone to a plethora of amusement parks plus I'm kind of a freak about it anyway and Sophia who's my youngest she's two she likes to go play in the backyard in our pool every day and when I say pool I mean it's like a little blow-up pool it's like a baby pool but still I'm like oh every 80 minutes you need to come in and reapply so we since we're already on the topic of because... SPF I thought I would throw this in here this is the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunscreen SPF 55 and this was in my summer favorites video as well uh, all these things I have purchased myself I love this I used to use the Neutrogena um, Ultra Dry Touch which was amazing as well but this is a little bit lighter and it's just a little bit more makeup friendly so it's the first thing that I put on after I wash my face I put this on first thing in the morning and I'm done with this I need another one but I will say this you know this has lasted me from I think I bought this at the end of May and it has lasted me until now I'll buy another one and I'll probably use this through October because in I, I live out, outside of Nashville in Tennessee we still have some 90 degree days in October so I use this through October and then the rest of the year I use the clear um, sorry the uh, Cetaphil 50 SPF so awesome awesome stuff I really like this and it, it's I'll use it next year unless they come up with something better and I don't think they will this I was really happy to get rid of <laughs> this is the Maybelline BB dream fresh and it came out I want to say two years ago it's it's a BB cream and I'm glad I'm done with it um I reviewed some BB creams a couple years ago and I reviewed the L'Oreal and this one and I'm over it I'm just pretty much over it I'm not telling you I'll never use one ever again because sometimes you know people are like hey do you want to review this and I and I like doing reviews but I'm just glad to be done with it because I really feel as if the makeup community in general or skincare community has manipulated us a little bit with the whole BB and CC cream because a lot of them that put BB or CC on the package are not authentic products and and, the, and of course there's the hype and everything and this is a good product it's a nice color you know but it's more of a tinted moisturizer than a BB or a CC cream so I'm done with it it's over maybe I probably could squeeze a little bit more out maybe I can't um, uh, I have used this on its own but I have also used this as a primer so I, I'm just I'm not gonna buy it again not because it sucks but because I just I like foundation better I do I like foundation better next I have a few nail products for you this is one you've seen before but it's I, I have gone through another one it is just the Kroger brand nail polish remover it's 100% acetone and if you watched my other video I, I do know that it's really not the best thing for your nails however um, uh, I don't have a problem with my nails I don't have any peeling or weakness or anything and so I'm gonna to continue to use this as long as I don't have an issue with my nails I'm gonna use it and the main reason is because I'm impatient and it takes nail polish off just super fast and I really like it and plus for cleanup I use the the elf concealer brush and a cap full of this to clean up after I paint my nails because I pretty much suck at it and it, it's just a quick process and I like it so I'll continue to purchase this mostly from Kroger but if I'm at Target or whatever I'll get their brand I'm not uh, it doesn't matter what brand it is as long as it is 100% acetone uh, because I just it's just the best way for me now pro other nail products uh, this stuff and you've seen this in my videos before it's the Sally Hansen insta dry top coat it's a fast drying top coat It is the best one I've ever used so when I'm done painting my nails I'll put this on and I'll wait a few minutes and then I'll put my hands in some ice water and they're perfect the next morning I can sleep on them I'm good to go now if you look no oh, that's not the one I want to show you I'm sorry this one if 
you look here you can see the liquid is pretty much right here there's not a lot left and so these are very affordable first of all they're affordable you're paying under five dollars second of all they work better than anything I have ever used when you get to about a quarter of a bottle left you're pretty much gonna throw it out it's goopy it's dry um, and you probably can try and use something to cut it down and to make it usable again and there's no problem with that I'm a little bit hesitant on that because I'm always concerned that if I use something to make it usable again then will it compromise the integrity of the product as far as drying as fast as it does so uh, I have tried cutting one of them down with this wet and wild uh, they're clear this is just their clear nail polish clear shine and this is empty too these are 99 cents and a lot of times wet and wild puts amazing coupons out you have a coupon for a dollar off of a, any wet and wild product and these are 99 cents and so they're basically free and that's how so, I got a bunch of them one time just to jump into this real quick 99 cents it's a great product to pay for I have used this to thin out other nail polishes that I have and it's been okay, great it's so been on to the last few items this is something that I did use a few times but my girls and my husband predominantly used it it's the Pert Plus two in one they're uh, for normal hair medium it's shampoo and conditioner and this was another couponing thing that I got for virtually free and we went to Gatlinburg recently which is Smoky Mountains and I brought this because we had the girls we had us and this is just it was the easiest thing to bring for all of us to wash our hair with I will say this you know I haven't used pert in a long time but it wasn't horrible I was like I'm just gonna gut it out but it really wasn't bad and my hair did feel soft and you know I would purchase this again and use it for travel or in a pinch and whatnot but it's not bad it really isn't and especially with having girls we have four girls that is just the best thing ever because that way you're like okay just use one thing instead of shampoo and conditioner and they go through it like crazy but it, it is what it is they're kids and that right, is what they tresemme. do right. right here this is their all day humidity resistance uh, number four hairspray I use this my husband uses it again it was another coupon thing however um, I would purchase it again I wouldn't pay full full price I'm spraying because I'm so good at describing how things smell no you're not it it's not offensive I'm gonna say that it's not offensive and it does it does it does a good job I like it I'll definitely purchase it again if I have coupons for it so there's no complaints there at all really all right lastly is something that came from the Mimi box and Mimi, I did a Mimi box video unboxing with a little review of one product and this is one of the face masks that were in there it is the tea tree blemish solution mask and I'm showing it to you because I did use it and I liked it it's very hydrating and it's nice but I think I need to use um, a few more if I'm gonna sit there and say oh it definitely demolished blemishes so you may even be like why are you mentioning it because I used it and it's it's an empties video so it's empty that's why why are you asking so many questions hmm no so. I'm kidding all right guys that's thanks it. so much for watching hope to see you on the next one and that's it all right bye